Okay, so there's the coordinate with the coordinate system gone so you can see the entire shape. And we're just going to spend some time exploring the shape because the thing that I want to uh, get across to you is this is not a shape that people made, right? This is a shape that is built into numbers. All this is is a plot of which numbers belong to that Mandelbrot set. That's all it is. And it turns out to be wonderfully interesting. We're going to zoom in on sections of it here in just a second. The upper portion here, you can see that this uh, top sphere branches off into three branches, right? A stem and, and two branches, so three total. That's kind of interesting. Uh, the one next to it branches off, I don't know if you can see that, but it branches off into five branches. Can you count that? Can you see that? The next one, they're getting small, but it branches off into seven. And the next one, nine, eleven. 13, 15, all the way, the, all the odd numbers, all the way down to infinity, <coughs> odd infinity, apparently, um, whatever that means. On the other side, <laughs> on the other side, you get all the numbers, including the, the evens and the odds, interesting, in terms of the way they branch. Isn't that fascinating? So it, it knows how to count somehow, uh, which is wild. And uh, perhaps even more interestingly, 5 plus 3 is 8, yes? Right? And the little shape in between them has 8. And that's always the case. Whenever you check the bud in between two, it adds the number of stems, no matter which one you, no matter where you're at. Uh, so, again, three and four is seven. That's how many it has. Four and five is nine. That's how many it has, and so on. It, so somehow it knows how to add. That's kind of neat. Um, just amazing, incredible shape. Okay, we're going to spend some time exploring this. And one thing I want to check out is this little. Uh, that, that spike there on the end, you see that spike? Because it's, uh, it's got a little black spot on it. What could that be? Well, let's find out. We're going to zoom in on that little thing. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It's a baby version, right? <laughs> it's the same basic shape as the parent. It's got the cardioid and you've got the, the little circles growing off of it. It's not identical. It's very similar, but it's not identical. It has extra spikes growing off of it. The parent didn't have these. They're very faint, but the parent didn't have these extra spikes growing off of it. So it is, and it's got a baby. Oh, yeah, how about that? And on the, of course, on the tail of that is, uh, is another one. Let's see if I can go to that one. How about that? And you could do that forever, literally. Yeah. There it is. And every time you get, we, we zoomed in on a spike, and the baby version has more and more spikes as you zoom in. So it inherits the property of the section of the parent that it grows off of, apparently. So all that on a tiny little section of a tiny little section of a tiny little section of the Mandelbrot set. And if you're wondering, there's nothing bigger. That's the ultimate one right there. There's nothing outside of it, interestingly. Other places we can go exploring. They call this the Valley of the Seahorses. Can you see the seahorses? By the way, the colors are arbitrary. We can make those whatever we like. But the shape is something that God has built into numbers. That's what you need to keep in mind. This is not a human artist that made this. The computer helped us plot it, but the shape is built into numbers. This is just the shape you get when you plot what points belong to the Mandelbrot set. See the seahorses over there on the, on the right side? They're upside down, and they're, they're a little dark on the screen, but... Uh, they really do look like seahorses. It's kind of it's kind of amazing. So let's go off to the right here. We'll zoom in a bit on one of these seahorses. Now again, all you're looking at is a is a plot of which points belong to the Mandelbrot set, and it turns out to be wonderfully complex and beautiful. Isn't that amazing? God has built the shape into numbers, hidden there for nearly six thousand years, and human beings discovered this in the 1970s and actually 1980s. How about that? It was waiting there for us. But there it is, built into not the physical world, but into the abstract world of mathematics. Amazing. And I should point out, too, remember the, the points that are very bright are points that are very close to being the, on the Mandelbrot set, but aren't quite on it. And so that tells you everywhere you see one of these bright points is actually close to, a, uh, to a, a black spot that's actually part of the Mandelbrot set. It just gets so thin, you can't see the black anymore. It's like a thin wire that wiggles around. It's just incredibly wiggly, you see. And there's, in fact, it, mathematically, it's as wiggly as it can possibly be in two dimensions, if that means anything to you. <laughs> Which it really doesn't to me, but anyway. <laughs> now, I found from experience, you can zoom in on the center of that till your heart's content and nothing really changes. It just keeps going forever. 
little window into the mind of God. Because that's how God thinks about things. He's infinite. And this gives us a little taste of that, doesn't it? Just a little taste of it. So I thought, well, we'll go, let's go off axis then. Let's see what these threads are made of. And we have this beautiful spider web type structure. And I want to see what the threads of the spider web are made of. Yes? So let's zoom in to one of those. And they're made of uh, more spider webs, smaller spider webs. How about that? And here you have a, um, you got the central hub of that spider web, and you got another one up there, and they intersect in the middle. And there's a little black spot there. Let's zoom in on that a bit. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It's, you got a feeling like, like God really likes that shape or something? It's, it's built into, into math, built into numbers. And again, it's not identical to the parent. The main shape is, but it's got extra stuff growing off of it. We zoomed into a spider web, and it's got extra spider webs growing all the way around it, you see. And you might notice, um, it's got a little baby version, too. <laughs> It gets computer intensive to zoom in too much though, so we'll go back out here. But all of that's in a tiny little section of the Mandelbrot set. That's what it is. Isn't that phenomenal? Well, let's explore. Let's go back to that valley. We went off to the right last time. Let's go to the left this time. They call that the valley of the double spirals. And so you see those shapes there. As we zoom in a bit, it'll be easier to see. They're double spirals, and by double spiral, I mean it's got two strands that interleave together. Um, if you follow this strand around right here, it goes around like that, and comes in, and is right here. There's one in between, see? This strand and this strand are the same. This strand and this strand are the same. So it's two strands wrapped around each other, a double spiral. And again, I found you can zoom into the middle of that forever, and it just keeps going. It's infinite. And so let's go off axis and look at one of these strands to see what they're made of. And they're made up of, well, spider webs and these, more of these double spirals. And we have a new structure in the middle. I call them a bow tie. Doesn't it look like a bow tie right there? Kind of. So let's zoom in on that bow tie a little bit. And it's made up of two double spirals. And they intersect uh, in the middle. And then two becomes four. You see four in the middle. It's kind of a cross structure. That's kind of pretty. And then four goes to eight. Oh, you were expecting it this time, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Once again, you got the, the a baby version of the Mandelbrot set built into itself. Uh, phenomenal. And they think about it. It's got a, you can see the little spike there. It's got a baby version of that. You could zoom in onto that. You could zoom in on the Valley of the Seahorses on that one. And it would just keep going forever. It's, it has an infinite number of babies built into each baby. It's remarkable. And incredibly beautiful. I get to pick the colors, but the shape is God's. Yeah. Well, I wanted to see what else this thing has to offer, so let's zoom in on some other sections. Let's zoom in over here on this cardioid shape, and this they call the Valley of the Elephants. Mathematicians like to make up fun names for these things, but it really does look like elephants, doesn't it? See the elephants marching along in formation, the trunk there, and it's all curled up? <laughs> So isn't that interesting? It will zoom in on the trunk here of this elephant. And this is a single spiral, not a double spiral. So it's just one strand. And let's zoom in on the threads of that. And again, you can zoom in any spiral you zoom in on. You can zoom in on it forever. And it'll continue. Uh, we got now spider web type structures. We got single spirals. And now we have bow ties again. But now the bow ties are made up of single spirals. So it's interesting. Whatever part you zoom in on, it kind of inherits the, the properties that you're zooming in on there. Is that not stunning? It goes from two, and then in the middle there, you can see four, and eight, and 16, and 32, and 64. See? And once again, you got a baby version built into it. So you can't escape that, apparently. Just remarkable. And, get, and just to think about what we're looking at. I mean, it's, it's one thing to say, well, that's very pretty, but it's another thing to think about what you're seeing. You're seeing a map that God has built into numbers. That's what we're seeing. A little window into how God thinks about numbers. That's what it is. That's why it's beautiful. It comes from God. There's no secular explanation for this. I'll, I'll talk more about that later on, but there's something to process. There is no secular explanation for this. Let's zoom over here on this valley. This is the one valley over, and they call this the Valley of the Scepters. 
because it looks very similar to Seahorse Valley, right? You got seahorses over on the right and double spirals on the left, but now they have scepters growing off of their foreheads. You see, they're sea unicorns now. And so I thought, well, let's zoom in on one of those, uh, one of those guys. And since we haven't seen a scepter before, I thought that might be fun to zoom in on. It's just fun to go exploring in this, in this shape. And it's something, it's, a, it's an aspect of creation that we've only been able to explore in the last uh, you know, 30 years or so. Because even though it's been built into math from all eternity by God, it's only something that we've had computing power to be able to explore recently. You could theoretically plot this by hand, but it would take forever. Okay? <laughs> so, you zoom in, there's a cross structure in the middle. And again, it goes from 4 to 8 to 16 and 32 and 64 and all the way into another baby Mandelbrot. Anywhere you see intersecting structures, I've, I've, I've sort of learned where to look to find them now. But anywhere you see intersecting structures, you'll get a baby Mandelbrot right in the middle of them. Incredibly beautiful.